the one, the only, Ben Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Table and Able as we continue Hilcha Shabbos, Simon Reish Pei Dalet, 284, Dinei Haftorah Oberchah, say how we learned about Kriyasa Torah a couple in Reish Pei Beis, now we learn about the Haftorah. Aleph, Maftir and Benavi, Menyana Shal Parsha, you know the common minog is to have Haftorah with the Navi, it has something to do with the Parsha, right? <clears throat> we'll see in a second why they're Masakin. Ve'en pochsim yichava al psukim, you should have 21 psukim at least in the Haftorah. Elim ken slikin yon bebatzer mahachi, unless the... The, the story ends. If it's the end of the story ends, you don't have to have specifically 21 because 21 is only for a specific reason. Kigon, what's an example? I'm not sure which after this is, but it's an example of one where the story ended less than 21. We only on Shabbos in 21. There's five Aliyasagi with Tefal Psukim. You can have an after all 15 Psukim. It was only instituted in the Tzibur after they read the Torah. You can't read the Haft Torah unless you're in the Tzibur. If you're not in the Tzibur, you can read it just out of the Brachos. Now, and the reason they're Masaki and Haft Torah, I think the Rishonim or the Gemara says, is that there was a time when uh, the non Jewish government did not allow the Jews to have Kriya Torah on Shabbos. So they. The Haftorahs were quicker and they could read more in private. So they read the Haftorahs, and since there are seven Aliyahs on Shabbos, and the minimum for each Aliyah is three Psukim, seven times three is 21. So therefore, they didn't allow them to read the Torah, so they read the Navi or the Ksuvim to fill in. And even though nowadays we're allowed to create the Torah, but the Takana was in his battle, and therefore we continue doing it. However, since it's only a Takana for, you know, for a Takana, I'll talk more of this in Ian Talinon. The whole concept of creating the Torah on Shabbos, as I mentioned yesterday, is a Takana itself, or two days ago I mentioned, is a Takana itself, so therefore it's a Takana la Takana, like Xera la Xera, and you don't have to be so mocked about the exact Takana. We'll see in a second a certain halacha, which accords with this base. In the Brachos, on the Haftorah, right? Even Rosh Chodesh, you don't mention Rosh Chodesh in the Brachos. When you don't mention at the end Rosh Chodesh, Maskir no sol b'socha bracha. Some say in the middle of bracha, Shomer as Yom Hamanoach Hazev as Yom Rosh Chodesh Hazev. The minhag is far. I've shown in the minhag is to do like the first far, not to mention Rosh Chodesh Gimel. Sarek lechav in the brachos ha korim b'Torah or the brachos ha maftir of Yana Chareim. I mean, you should have it in mind to be yotze with them, because at the end of the day, it is still a takana that wasn't this batla, because we don't have a basin that's bigger in Chachma and Minyan than the basin that was Masakin. It's not specifically the Yotze, the Haftorah, because there's a halacha we'll learn that you're not supposed to say 100 brachos every day. It's, it's a nice thing to say 100 brachos every day. And on Shabbos you have less brachos because the Shemona Esrei are shorter, so therefore you could be Yotze with the brachos, not just the Haftorah, but also Kriya Satorah also. Dalad, Katan Yochal HaHaftir. A Katan could read the Haftorah. Now, we mentioned in Tzim Reish Pei Beis, 282, that a Katan can get aliyahs the seven aliyahs on Shabbos, but he can't read the Torah. But this halacha tells the Torah he could read. And I'll explain more in Ian Tolina on why he could even read the Torah. How come in Karla Maftir, Mishani Udeya Lomar Torah? Let's say they called up for the aliyah of Maftir, someone doesn't know to read the Torah, which always happens. The best thing to do is to have someone who gets Maftir who knows how to read the Torah. However, I guess we're makele with this. A lot of times you honor someone with Maftir who does not need to know how to read the Torah. It's better that he should know how to read the Torah. Hey, in the Shtatek Amafti Rems Torah, let's say he's the, the, the person who's reading the Torah becomes silent, he has, to, he has an emergency, he leaves, he can't finish that Torah. Just like Kriya Satorah, it's based on Kriya Satorah. You don't start where the other one left off, like Tfilah, Elis, like Shmon Esra, Elis, Tarek, Lachshul, Askel, Makam, Jeskel, Rishon, Mobi Sefer Torah. You have to go back to the beginning, Haga, and make the Brachas again, the post can point. Haga, Vishtayim, Lo Yom Rav Torah, of Hamachas. The trade Kali La Mishdami, just like the Kriya said Torah, two people shouldn't lay at the same time. I have Torah also, which is based on the same Allah, is two people shouldn't read because two people, two people's voices, neither of them could be heard. Vav, Eina Maftir, Maftir, Ashik, Mara Gold, El Digla, Sefer Torah. The person saying the Torah should not start until the Sefer Torah is rolled. Zion, Bishabba, Shah, Parshas, Mechuboros, Maftir, and Baftaras, Parshas, Shniya. Let's say you have two Parshas. Last week we had Parshas, uh, not last week, two weeks ago, Parshas, Matos, Masai. So you do the Torah. Of whatever normally is Masai. Hagav ayin lekaman simen tavchav. Chetz v'nagu lahazker acher kriyas haTorah neshamos hamesim. Some say right a tefila for 
dead people. On Yom Tov, it's called Yisker. Sometimes, Kel Mali Rachem and Mulevarach Oskim and Sarach Sibor. You know this bracha after Yakum Purkan, Kol Meyakum Lefim and Hug, whatever the minute is. And Hug and Lomar Yakum Purkan. The name was that Mishum Israel talked Trina B'Shabbos. That's not called Trina on Shabbos. Why is it called Trina B'Shabbos? Because anything which is normally said and a public thing is normally said, so you don't put so much thought and no emotion into it. It doesn't ruin your Shabbos. If you don't see which is days we don't see Tachnon, you also wouldn't say Avarachem and King King Kashiyesh Chasen Al Milo. If you have a wedding or a bris milah that day, where you wouldn't say Tachnon, you also wouldn't say Avarachem. Some say when you have when you bench Rosh Chodesh, you also shouldn't say Avarachem. Unless it falls out during the days of Sphere of Ahokim, Minag, whatever the Minag is, people have different men hugging and saying Avarachim, you're supposed to follow the Minag in all these places. Again, if you miss these feelings, it's not the end of the world. It's only a Minag to say them, and it's really only a Minag in the seaboard to say them. So you don't have to make these things up, and you don't have to make up Birchaz Achodesh also, even though people are very mocked to make, birch, to, to make it up. I don't think you have to make it up either. It's just a Minag. Stay tuned for Ian to lean on. I talk about this unique, the unique status of Torah as opposed to Kriya Sa Torah on Shabbos. That Torah is less strict. That's why one of the halachas, the Katan, can even read the Haft Torah. That's the minute a lot of places the Katan reads that the, the Haft Torah, even though we don't allow him to read the Kriya Sa Torah, the seven aliyahs. He also reads the Maftir. The minute here in this community that I live in now is a Katan Bar Mitzvah kid because we're worried he doesn't have Shtei Saros. So we only allow him to read the Maftir and the Haft Torah. Um, where I grew up, I did read the Bar Mitzvah. When I became Bar Mitzvah, I did read the whole Parsha, but that's, you know, different opinions. Stay tuned for Ian Delina where I discuss this uniqueness of the Torah coming up next.